Right, guys, I'm going to be playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, the profile I do use on this is Xbox. So I know if, if you're thinking about it and saying Xbox, I will show you the emulator that I actually use. This is the one I'm using. And the one that I use on that is called Xbox. And um, if I was to edit the Xbox emulator, this is what you get. It is a DualShock controller. Yes, but that's what I get. I didn't map anything on this. Just to tell you guys, I don't map on this. I don't need to map on it. I'm just saying what I use on this. This is DS4 Windows. Here it says Jules, Jules Sense. It says the status is USB. It says 100%. It does say Xbox is the profile that I'm using. And it is called DS4 Windows. If you guys want to download that from the internet. And now I'm going to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now, the differences between this game and between, um, sorry, I'm trying to get this thing. The difference in, differences between this game and, uh, sorry, let's see. The differences between this game and Counter-Strike 2 are that at least with this one, when you shoot someone, they actually die. So there's death in this game. And I'm not, I'm not promoting death. I'm just saying it's kind of good when you've got a system Whereby when someone does get shot, they actually die. You know, it's I'm just saying it's 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 a better effect to have somebody who does suffer the consequences than someone who doesn't. You understand? So if the person is close to you and and then you shoot them, they should die, right? I'm just saying that that's how the game should be like. Uh you know one thing, I just realized. I don't actually play uh, Counter Strike. Uh, I mean, Call of Duty on the other Steam Deck, but it is saying to connect it. So basically, I could stream this game from the Windows Steam Deck if I wanted to. This is a Steam operating system Steam Deck, but I could stream it. It says, uh, "Notice update requires restart," so it needs to restart this. Uh, it's saying, "Open beta early access begins October 12th." Wait a minute. What? What? What's the day today? October 12th, that's this month. So, yeah, I, I, will, I will be getting this game. I'm going to buy this game on the 13th, yeah? So, October 12th, that's in eight days' time. So, October 12th is actually going to be next week on Thursday. So, it's not, it's not, it's not too far away from now, is it? It's not far away from now. So, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 just got recently updated today. I don't know what the update entails, but uh, it just it just keeps telling me that the other one's gonna be. It says updates complete. Okay, completed successfully. So I don't know why it needed to do that because it already updated this on Steam. So I'm gonna wait and see if it's just going to give me what I need. It says Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three. Get ready. Modern Warfare Three multiplayer launches on November ten. With 16 core 6v6 maps, brand new modes like Cutthroat, three huge new battle maps, and a colossal new war map, plus new gameplay mechanics and robust customization options. Watch video. How am I supposed to watch the video? Is it going to let me watch it? Right, so it says to watch the video.
Right, that's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And that's the video. It says that the open beta is going to start on October 8th. No, no, October 12th, sorry. So that's next week on Thursday. I'm just trying to decide on what to play, Corova Village or La Casa. Like I said, La Casa is just a village, so you can go on the top roofs or you can be at the bottom. And then Corova Village is the one that's got the snow. I, I do actually prefer Corova Village, but I think I'm going to go with La Casa for now. I played Corova Village last time. Oh, yeah, guys, uh, when you're playing this game, you need to come into your, to, to the party thing. If you're playing as a squad, you're playing with your friends, then just allow this to go on. But I want to talk during the, the match, so obviously I, I do turn that off. But if you're playing with a squad, then with your friends or a squad, then don't turn that off. I'm just saying for me, that's what I do, because obviously I, I do talk during the video, and then I don't, you know, to annoy the other people. <laughs> so where it says quality presets, you need to select minimum. And then here where it says upscaling and sharpening, you need to select AMD FSR 2.1. And then this option will appear. In this option, which says AMD FSR preset, select the last one, which is the fourth one, quality. Now scroll down all the way down until you just look around for anything that's written like this, like high, spot catch. Change this to low, that you're done with that. Now you can just jump to this one, uh, which is the controller. If you're using a gamepad, you need to select controller. If you're using a mouse and keyboard, select mouse. I use a controller. And that's it. That's the end of that. And I can come out of it. And I'll show you that I am using DualSense. I am using the gamepad. So that's what I'm going to use in this, um, in this game. La Casa, the only difference with La Casa is that La Casa is actually a, um, it's a villa. And uh, then uh, the other one, uh, the other one is a, um, Korova Village is obviously a village. And uh, th that's the only difference. I, I don't, I don't think I can say anything else about La, uh, La Casa. Okay, La Casa is uh, also, it's, it's a villa. It's, it's like a house. It's, a, it's like a compound or whatever you want to call it. Most people call it something different. I call it a villa because it's quite big. It's one house. It's like, okay, it's a mansion, basically. It's a mansion, a villa mansion. I think it's the same thing. And then basically all you're doing in the game is you're running on top of the roofs or you, you, this one you can camp, but you can't camp for too long. And then basically uh, the bottom part is just running through the doors, through the, the lounge areas, it's chairs and stuff, doors, blowing stuff up. Uh, Korova Village is also quite good because Korova Village is where you can actually camp. I did say this before. you got more places where you can camp. The match has been found. We're going to play this game. And I did say if you want to play this game, you also need to change your, in your BIOS, you need to change your VRAM to 4 gigabytes. I did say when you enter your BIOS, You'll get four options. It's the second option. And in there, you just see a long list of things that have something to do with your Steam Deck. Uh, you need to look for the one. Just scroll down. You'll see something written 1G. That's your uh, VRAM. It will not be written VRAM. It's, it's written UMA. And it's, uh, it's called a frame buffer. So you need to click on the 1G. And then an option will come here in the small box. And it goes from 1G, 2G, 4G. Select 4G. Then come out of it. And uh, then go to the other options to save and exit. Because if you try to save and exit to come out of that one, it will just boot you out of the game. You understand? I mean, sorry, to boot you out of the BIOS without actually saving your uh, things. So if you do go, if you're on Windows, you can go to settings, then go to display manager and find out what options are in there to see what they've actually saved for you. Oh, hard point. Okay, cool. So what I'm saying... What I'm saying is, where's, where's that point? And get to that point, thank you. Let me throw this there. Oh my God, is someone dead? Oh my God. Right, so basically, so basically, uh, where's that point in this thing? Right, I think they're in the, near the car thing. Right, my God. So basically, right, I think I can jump on the window. Jump over here. I don't want to smash this door open because I'm pretty sure there's people around here. I'm pretty sure there's someone there. God, <laughs> you know, I'm so I'm I'm sorry, but I'm just I'm used to the Counter Strike thing, you know. <laughs> so, it kind of messes you up a bit. You play Counter Strike and then you come back to this one, and you, and you and you have to re relearn 
that you can actually break through the doors on this one and you can actually throw mines down because it's it's just tricky that way you understand oh check this out so you know i'm just saying you 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 it's like it's like learning again oh my god you understand so it's it's like it takes a, a bit of a learning curve to to learn again that you can actually do all these things right so the the things that i do like and this oh my god damn it i was reloading as well man i didn't see there were two of them so what i'm saying is you kind of relearn how to play this game i know it, it might sound a bit dumb but um i'm just saying that it's it's like that so what i do like about this one is oh my god what i do like about this one is if if you're clever enough run to the hard point throw down a mine right in the middle so when these guys do go they they, they kind of all die and if you get your scores score streak then obviously you can cause a lot of damage so what i like to do is kind of do that because if you do it in that direction there you go so someone's dead uh i threw a flash grenade uh okay let me see let's get to the hard point so a hard point is basically you just need to uh go to wherever the hard point is and stay there for a maximum amount of time uh there's a dude over here my god my aiming is really off um how do i compare this with uh, counter-strike you know that that's that's why i said that's that's why i said it's it's a bit tricky because with this one you get score streaks uh you can call in a helicopter you can call in uh what you call this uh a jet you know one thing would be so nice if they were able to call in a tank imagine wait what are they doing on this one oh my god look at this oh damn oh my god so this guy got something what did they get right so i don't know what they got but um it seems like they got something nice right i'm gonna throw oh my god i want to throw a mine right so you you kind of like have to relearn the game when you come from oh wow when what the hell why can i get this thing what is this <laughs> no i was just wondering I was wondering, like, is this not a box? Okay, so you can just reload. That's it. That's nonsense, man. Wow. That's weird. I'm just saying. My right, God. Okay, so a hard point basically you just uh, protect the site of of wherever it the hard point is, and that's basically it. That's all you're doing in hard point. Oh uh, my God. I think I got shot. But like I said, it, it is a learning curve. You know, when you come from um, Counter-Strike, I'm not trying to make excuses. It, you, it's like a learning curve. Because then you... you I feel with Counter-Strike, there's so many restrictions in the game. And obviously, so many restrictions in the game. Let me run over here. I don't want to get seen. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know why that was so weird? Because... I kind of looked at it. <laughs> I was like, if you could see my face, you would have seen that I was so surprised. You know, like, oh my God. You know, that, that, that kind of surprise. Oh, come on, man. No, 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 no. Right. Uh, what I'm saying by a learning curve is the fact that you kind of like, you have to learn again. Like you can aim in this game. You're allowed to aim that kind of thing. You can use different things in this one as well. But I mean, the, the things that you do learn that you can do that, that's good about um, Counter-Strike is that I think it kind of teaches you, you with your aiming. Because you see, my aiming was quite kind of good there. I got three of those people with uh, lim limited effort. You understand? My God, someone's shooting something here. Oh my God, it's by the, it's by the thing. It's, it's right by the um, stairs. It's up the stairs. There, I shot him in the leg. I got him in the leg. <laughs> Counter strike move. <laughs> you know, that's why I said it's it's like a huge learning curve now because you kind of get used to the this. It's so limited. Um, I feel Counter Strike it limits you from doing a lot of things. Why? Why is there lag? There's so much lag in this. You notice that? What the? 
Oh my god. And I did shoot him several times. But I mean at least with this one you he's probably having something on him that gives him that ability, you know, to at least survive for X amount of time. Whereas here you can you can just tell What the hell? Wait, there's a sensor over there, isn't it? I think there was a sensor there at some point. Um, they, they, they did say that uh, Modern Warfare 3 has um, parkour. So you'll be able to jump across walls and stuff. There's someone that's in here. Did someone just ran across. Boom. They cannot see me. Nice one. So what I'm saying is, um, where's the hard point? I can't even find it now. Where's the hard point? Has it come back? Um, so basically there's parkour and uh, the parkour you can actually jump from wall to wall type of things type of situations and I was just noticing that you can do uh, a lot of things I mean they do have so some sort of parkour in part 2 in this Modern Warfare 2 I mean not a lot but I'm just saying they do have something like I think there's someone up there but I'm not bothered I just want to get to this thingy oh my god Come on, run, run, run. <laughs> you know, it's just crazy with this thing. I think that when it only gives you lag, it's, it's basically because someone is shooting at you. So I think that's why there's lag. But I'm just saying, I noticed this quite a bit. You know, you, you start noticing things after you've played a, a certain game. So, right. Oh, my God. What? Okay, he threw a, a cocktail. Right, I should have known. Right, let me try and help the dudes out. Let me throw a monitor. There's a dude running over there. And I got him. Nice one. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. Nice one. Thank you very much. Thank you for donating your body to me. And I will give you something nice to have. Oh, my God. What happened? Didn't that proximity mine go off? My God. Um... What game am I playing the most? Wow, you see how fast that guy ran? That was crazy, man. See how fast he was running? Uh, okay, so with Hardpoint, what we guys do, or what I've noticed with uh, Modern Warfare 2, what they do mostly is that they will... Uh, we go after the team that's trying to disturb the Hardpoint, and the other dude's job mainly is just to protect the, the Hardpoint. I threw the mine. Boom. There we go. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know who else died in that. But I'm just saying, uh, with Hardpoint, what we do basically is uh, we go after the team that is uh, trying to acquire or trying to gain the Hardpoint. And uh, that's, how we op that's how we function. Oh, my God. That's how, that's how we function, basically. So the Hardpoint has been protected by the other team and uh, by our team. And then uh, the other dudes like me, myself, we go after these guys and try to stop them from going to the hard point. It, it's a good strategy. I mean, we keep them busy while we are taking over the hard point. You understand? So I want to throw a mine here. I'm pretty sure someone's shooting me. Going to use a mine right there, like boom. And yeah, I don't know if he's getting shot at. Who's shooting? Right. So, oh yeah, some guy ran across. That was weird. Was he hugging? He was hugging the wall. No, he was hugging the tree, actually. You know what? I'm just going to lay here. Oh, my God. He's, I'm in water now. That was crazy. Oh, this is the water. So, this is the hard point. This is nice. Wait, who's that dude? Oh, it's one of our... <laughs> they shot me in the water. <laughs> That's crazy. I was enjoying myself. And these dudes are like... Oh my god, there, there's a dude there, there's a dude. Ah, uh, good, nice one. Uh, so the hard point, basically, we stop the guys who are trying to get to the hard point. And uh, the, then one of our squad stays at the hard point. Well, guarding it, obviously. I mean, you, you can't just be self-aware with, with people. Um, the differences I noticed with, um, with Counter-Strike. Well, I don't know, Counter-Strike... Like I said, Counter-Strike is good, but the problem with Counter-Strike that I find is the problem is with aiming. If they fix, if they fix, no, not aiming, I mean the bullets, the impact of the bullets. 
they need to fix what the bullets are doing you 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 can't you can't just expect people to keep playing the game and keep dying every second every second and just to be satisfied by that wait there's there are people on the top here damn we won still but i'm just saying so that's that's the major difference with uh, counter strike 2 You know, no one ever explained to me how I get my, uh, my, you know, in, in these battle pack things when you buy them. Because I did buy the Vault Edition, but I never got the skins for the guns that I was actually supposed to use in Call of Duty. And I never actually got the, the skins for the, for the weapons. So I've always wondered, like, how come I never got this, the, like, the stuff for this? <laughs> 